Amil Chicha is said to be arraigned in court on Thursday, 21st November, after allegedly raping his student. Confirming the incident, Nambale Deputy County Commissioner Carolyn Machoka said the teacher lured the student on the pretext her parents had died. The student was treated at Nambale Sub County Hospital and later discharged to proceed with her KCSE examination. I am the Kama Security Committee. Tukaenda kwa hiyo shule na tukatipitisha, tukatafuta msichana, tumepeleke hiyo hospitali. Na sasa huyo mchama na process anaenda kutini kwa rape. And the Oman ambassador to Kenya, Saleh Suleiman Al-Hadi, has hailed Kenya for being a true partner for his country. Speaking during celebrations to mark the 49th National Day in Nairobi, Al-Hadi said his country is committed to strengthening the historical ties with Kenya. We need them to take this opportunity to go and see. You see, instead of just bringing our, uh, our businessman in, it doesn't work, you see. It doesn't work just to bring one side one side truck. The truck should be both sides. In Lakipia County, women leaders have condemned the wave of killing of women and children in various parts of the country. Their sentiments follow the recent murder of a 31 year old woman and her two children. The legislators noted that the Bill of Rights, as enshrined in the Constitution, protects human life and perpetrators should be prosecuted. Meanwhile, a post-mortem conducted on the three victims revealed the mother was hit by a blunt object and the children were strangled. We also call upon the army criminal investigator to speed up investigation and bring justice to the murder of Joyce Sibua. Elsewhere, police in Eldoret are holding six women believed to be child traffickers operating within North Rift and Western regions. The women were arrested following a security operation where police rescued two boys aged between two and three in Kisi and Wasengishu counties. So they managed to arrest four more others and recover another one child, which now we are appealing to the members of the public who may be able to identify them uh, and inform their parents to come as we continue the investigation. Finally, the Kenya Progressive Nurses Association now wants nursing certificate courses scrapped, saying they contradict the spirit of universal health care. Led by their chair, Michael Nyongesa, the association says the courses should be replaced with diploma to replicate quality of training of nurses and midwives. That we must go back to training certificate nurses. This goes against the spirit of UHC, because UHC will speak about quality. And the training is part of quality that we require. So we are training nurses at a higher level to be able to understand, to be able to manage, to be able to treat, because in a dispensary. Felicity Gitonga for Channel One News.